Guys, welcome back to another daily video. We are here again at the table of doom. Uh, don't know why I called it that. Actually, it's just it's just a table in my my kitchen. Yeah. Anyway, guys, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit that big red subscribe button down below. We're making content every single day. You don't want to miss out. So turn on post notifications on as well. Like the video if you are enjoying this type of content. And let's get straight into this video. Okay. So most people watching this video have probably heard of a little website called Urban Dictionary. It's a thing. Yeah. I don't know how it's a thing. It's basically every slang word that people use that aren't actually words they just use some just words and phrases that are like sort of made up terms that put together that aren't actually in the dictionary because they they can't be they're too explicit yeah so if you are watching this be sure to watch this with your parents you can't watch this unless you're 26 or over legit yeah we're going to type in any word here now i don't know why it says on ice but we're going to type in ksi all right Right, so the te top definition for KSI is KSI is the YouTuber that did the world a favour and beat Logan Paul. Silly. Do you know what? K oh, that, that's, a, that's a good definition. That's just what he is, you know. And there's another one there. KSI wears a bandana 24-7 in his videos. Factual fact there as well. Um, there's, there's loads of different ones, so it ranks them from like one, the top definition, to like many others that anyone cre can create, I think. Uh, there's another one, a British YouTuber that will drop Logan Paul as he is not a pussy and didn't cry in the press conference. Hashtag let's go JJ and then KSI will drop Logan Paul. Um, Logan Paul get uh, Logan Paul's getting hate on it. Moving on to that, let's not look at any more of these. Let's type in, let's type in the man himself. Oh my god, Logan, Lagoon, Lagoon, Logan Paul. Let's see what comes up. A chot from my heart. I think, yeah, chot is like a... Like it's like an ass, a church is like an idiot sort of thing, like a like a dickhead. Yeah, you know what I mean. I think that in American terms. Um, to some examples here, I just read this. Doesn't make sense. So person, hey look, it's Logan Paul. That's the typical phrase you hear every day, you know. Uh, and then person two, ah, what a church. You know, perfect. <laughs> Look at the hashtags. Hashtag Logan Paul. Hashtag Choch. Hashtag Ohio. Hashtag White Boy. That is a it's a white boy phrase to be fair. I, um, Choch. Number two. Oh my God. Okay, I've just seen some of the keywords in this. Verb to film yourself laughing at a dead body for view for dead body for views on YouTube. Then delete that video to make a shitty apology. Jeez, they, they really do not like him on here, do they? Uh, Objective, a word. Okay, they're, they're all the same. <laughs> oh well, P person two is very Logan Paul. Person two is Logan Paul. What? Let's move on to something else. Let's move on to some UK slang here. Let's put, you know, the typical chavvy word you hear, like I don't know, Stacy down the road, say or something. Sket, um, a scabby slut. <laughs> Oh my god, Tammy's a right skit. She shagged 10 guys over the weekend and never washed. Do you know, that is quite accurate. That's something you would describe. That's something you say. Yeah, oh yeah, she's a right skit. She is. Uh, yeah, that pretty much. That girl's a skit. Uh, what is this? For skittle, Caribbean term for super hoe. Oh, mate, that might actually be the legitimate term, you know. I wanna, I'm, very one, I'm very curious to, to what will happen if I type in my name. Oh. Oh. That's just unfortunate. Then that's my definition of me. Just w what is that face? <laughs> what is that? Okay, back to Urban Dictionary. Okay, so I just scrolled down and instead of just writing what I think, there's a whole category here of trending right now, March 19th, 2019. So currently, to this day, what is trending? There's a lot of weird things. Hang on, Deji's there. Let's see what. Let's see what Deji, when someone is being a fuckhead. <laughs> Pretty accurate, no. You're such a deddy, and you're such a deji, or Keith is such a dead. Ke Keith? Who is Keith, man, really? A Yoruba language meaning for joy will come to us. I think, I've, I've actually heard that before. I think that's a, a thing, I think. Let's go back to these. Let's look at some other ones that we've never heard of before. Okay, m m m maybe not that one, okay? Friendship penis, red pancake. Oh my! 
These are just all sexual ones. The light sex appeal belfie. Hang on. What what is a belfie? A bottom selfie, a photo a photographic self-portrait featuring the bollocks usually posted by female celebrities on social media. Where when have I seen this? Where where has this like where's this come from in 2019? Cheryl Cole and Kelly Brook and Kim Kardashian by sharing a rose-tinted belfie. Oh, oh no, this is what I'm saying about uh, this is what I'm saying about Urban Dictionary. One meaning could be that a bottom selfie, yeah, from you know underneath, and another one could just be completely random. After doing 50 squats in a day, I could do with a nice belfie. All right, what? All right, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's see. Equalist. Let's go on this. An equalist believes in equality for all. No one person is better than everyone. I guess I'm an equalist. You know, equal rights in society. Now I care about people. Uh, definitely not staged. I'm joking. I'm joking. Equality. I know. But yeah, I would consider myself um, a human being that is a equalist to say so. Like according to this dictionary, I hope you're an equalist. You know, treat everyone the same. Elbows too pointy. I. Let's see, like, I don't understand how are these, like, I don't think I've ever just gone around my friend's house and then just gone, Oh, it's Steve! Yeah, elbows too pointy. Like, it just doesn't make sense. Like, oh my god, it's a long definition. This is a sarcastic counter against people with ridiculously high standards for what are actually quite beautiful women. Oh my god. Oh, right, this is actually perfect, what I can use. I can use this word with so many, so many people I know. Um... Elbows two point. Why does that like? How how does that mean? I don't know how where people get these ideas from. Usually it is a response to people who have oddly specific okay, specific specific criticisms of women, such as thighs being too wide, yeah, thick with two C's there. Uh, you know you know about that when everyone watches video. Uh, so people who have oddly specific. Oh no, I just read that. Uh, or shoulders too wide or anything. Of that stuff, right? These definitions are just spot on, you know. Who need a reminder that 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 they're not Brad Pitt? You know, we all love Brad Pitt. I mean, I I I'd turn gay for that man. Let's be honest. Our people in this video are going to take that way out of proportion. Some dude, hey man, check out this chick. Isn't she hot? Links a picture of someone who could easily be a model. Okay, fair enough. Uh, some dude too. Ooh, her th her thighs are like. Way too wide. I feel like it's a typical like surfer dude saying this. Uh, she's kind of ugly. Oh god, this accent. And then some dude, the first one. Yeah, I see what you mean, bro. Elbows too pointy as well. One out of ten. I would not bone. But then you're just contradicting yourself because you're disagreeing with the rate. Okay. Why does rate need? That's an actual word. Why does it need a? Okay, rate is a slang used by UK people, uh, all road men, to mean. Like, huh? To mean like, rate that still, like that's. Oh, okay, as in like you like something. I thought you meant so like you like something. Yeah, 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 fam. Rate that still. <laughs> nah, I don't rate him. That's that's very accurate. I gotta say, ugly hot. Wait, wait. What 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 does that mean then? You're, are you an ugly hot watching this video? A person who is in no way, shape or form, this is very well written, Jesus. Um, conven uh, conventionally attractive, but everything they do, how they talk, how they walk, and the way they move, Jesus, pinpointing them down to their bone uh, move is so incredibly hot that makes them somehow better looking, okay? So you're saying any, everything but look, so how they, okay, all right, cool. Um, it's still centred on physicality, but it is more about how they use their body slash body language, and like what, uh, than their ugly faces. Okay, so the, what I'm saying is, coined for my former high school chemistry teacher, they're often tall, gangly, and interested and, and interested in men like Chris Martin from Coldplay. This is so random, man. Guys, are you actually reading this with your eyes? And then there's a couple examples. Oh, look at that gangly, old-looking, very hot, str hot, strutting guy over there. He's not hot. He's uh, he's ugly hot. Bro, what? 
So if so, so basically, if someone that's like completely like a zero, no, no one's a zero realistically, right? But so, like someone who's like a, a three out of ten, so they ain't got nothing going for them. But the way they talk, the way they they walk, I don't know who walks like that. I don't know, but everything about them other than their facial looks is is very pleasing to the, to the female eye or male eye. Okay, like these are I'm actually learning some stuff today. Like, come on, edu you, you're trying to tell me my videos ain't educational. Get out of here. Elizabeth, why is there an urban dictionary on the word Elizabeth, on the name Elizabeth? Elizabeth is the love of my life. She is more beautiful. I'm not actually saying this for myself, but I'm just looking at reading something. She is more beautiful, unique, adorable, exciting, and just absolutely crazy sexy than anyone could imagine. Than anyone could imagine. What, what, what? One girl to be. You will never be able. Oh, move out of the way. What is this? Move out of the way. Oh my God. Well, well. Why can't I move this out of the way then? You will never be able to express just how much you love her in words uh, and alone. So actions is your best way to win her heart. She deserves. Wait, she does. Does uh, She deserves. What is this grammar? Deserves the world. Deserves the world. So give it to her. Why are they underlining words like give it to her? I've never met anyone in my life like you, Elizabeth. Are they talking about like Queen Elizabeth II? Like, what? What is this? Whack off. Oh, okay, but you know, what? I actually quite like that. That word, whack off. You know, it's whack off one. A B C party. Anything but clothes party. Where you're wearing anything but clothes. Example: trash bags, saran wraps, lampshades, trash cans. Take. I was expecting them to say, you know, just naked, just butt naked, but no. Like, you go to a party where people are wearing trash bags, everybody. And c cardboard boxes. Like, this, and, and tape. This sounds like a TGF video, to be honest. What is this? Dude, that ABC, well, I wanna, I'm, I'm quite intrigued, though. I would like to be, um, I'd like to be invited to one of these ABC parties. Guys, if you know any ABC parties in the local area, hit me up in the DMs. Uh, dude, the ABC party last night was ragging. <laughs> oh my god, this, these words. There's nothing better than seeing girls with just a piece of tape on dancing around. Yeah, me too. Nothing, um, nothing more pleasing than that. Guys, we're going to wrap it up there. We've looked at some weird, interesting, strange... I don't know what that was worth here today. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, be sure to hit that big red subscribe button. You know you want to. It's free. It helps me out. It helps me boost me up all the way to the top. That's all we're, all we're going to go. We are only getting to the top. At least I'm doing a speed back. Hit that like button and turn on the post button notifications. Thank you ever so much for watching and in a bit.